In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop an Alexa skill, uh, which is going to invoke a Lambda function as uh, its backend. And uh, it's going to be one of the very first examples someone can try it out. I'm going to use the Python language for this example. Uh, I'm not a specialist in Python, so there might be better ways to you know, write your actual Python function, but uh, I'm going to show you a quick way to get started in a few minutes. Uh, and I'm going to use the Sigma IDE, which is completely browser based. So I don't have to install any software or meddle with the command line to push updates to AWS. So let's get started. Uh, the first part of uh, this exercise will involve the creation of the voice use interface, which is going to be the skill aspect, which is running on the Alexa. And the next part is going to be the backend code, which is the Lambda function. Uh, which is going to execute the backend code. And finally, I'm going to link it up with a Amazon DynamoDB call, which is going to fetch some data and return to the Alexa uh, application. So let's get started. First of all, of all, I'm going to go to the developer console and I'm going to create a new skill called Chinese animal and select that it's going to be a custom skill. and starts from scratch and I'm going to specify the invocation name which has to be two words as Chinese animal that's how I'm going to invoke my skill and as you can see there are a few built-in skills as a built-in intents but I'm going to add my own intent called Chinese any Manual intent and I'm going to create that custom intent uh, so the utterances to invoke this intent might be what is my Chinese animal for the year and I'm going to specify the year as a slot which is like a parameter and I'm going to create a custom slot and add this utterance and I'm going to just add one more utterance what is the Chinese any email for the year and I'm just going to select the existing slot and add this utterance as well so two is enough to get started for my first example and down here in the intent slots for year I'm going to select Amazon four digit number so it's going to be like 2012 2010 etc and once this is done i'm just going to make sure chinese animal intent okay this is correct i'm going to save this model and i'm going to uh, trigger the build it will take a little bit of time because amazon runs the ai behind the skill to recognize the voice and during this time i'm going to come into my sigma.slapforge.com which is my sigma id it has already been configured with my aws account uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project Chinese animal and I'm going to select my primary language as Python uh, the ID supports both node.js and Python and as you can see you're straight away brought into a lambda function and if you were to say print hello world this is executable as it is you can create a new event much simpler than using the default AWS tools uh, so if I just want to invoke you know this uh, hello world function you can see that it is successfully executed hello world uh, if I want to change this code you can see this is in action extremely fast and uh, for now I'm going to just leave it here uh, as you can see all the log files is also shown at the bottom pane so it's very easy for the developer you don't have to go to another console and search for logs and the build is successful so i'm going to come into the endpoints section of the skill and select aws lambda as the service endpoint and i'm going to copy this to my clipboard and come back to my function and i'm going to select alexa skill and drag it and drop it into this function line and you will see this red color icon uh, on the left uh, to the left of the letter uh, number one and it's going to change after I set this trigger and this trigger is going to 
be against the skill ID which I just created. And I'm just going to say inject. And as you can see, this trigger has changed. If I click here again, I can change the trigger. And also if I want this Lambda function to be triggered by API gateway, S3, or the different events, I can um, drag those and drop it here as well. And additional triggers or different triggers can be set. So I'm going to uh, go to the next step, which is to add my AWS SDK. Uh, I'm just going to copy the version for this, which is ASK SDK is the package name and the version is 1.13.0. I'm just going to edit as a dependency. So everything is set and I'm just going to use this about 40 lines of code to get started. And this is the very basic uh, example for a Python Alexa skill. Uh, and I have just defined three classes which implement the la launch request, uh, an error handler, and my custom intent for the Chinese animal intent, uh, which I have created. So this is the intent uh, which is tied with the Chinese animal intent uh, that we created here. You will be able to uh, see Chinese animal intent that matches with this particular handler. So if you want to implement more handlers, you just need to copy this particular piece of code and duplicate it and change it to different handlers and you can add much more variety of functions to the Alexa skill by doing so. So let's get started with just the single Chinese animal intent. As you can see, it's going to respond with my custom intent handler uh, is my um, example output for now. And finally, I'm going to delete this print line and invoke um, the code from the SDK uh, using this uh, function definition. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to deploy this uh, project. And since it's a new project, it's asking me whether I want to commit it into a Git repository like GitHub um, Bitbucket, etc. So I say yes, and the ID commits the changes to my Git repository, which is going to be created now. So it's going to take a, a minute or so during this first execution to create the repository and to do the deployment. And um, in this case, you might see a warning because I have created a function named Chinese animal just before I started this recording. So that's okay. Uh, this is this uh, warning the Lambda permission for Chinese animal. Uh, as you can see, uh, the Sigma ID does everything behind the scenes to deploy this Lambda function, uh, link it with the Alexa skill and do everything else on your behalf, the permissions and everything. And uh, you do not have to meddle with the command line or create bundles and you know iteratively do code changes with remote deploys. Uh, all those are going to be done and pretty soon I'm going to show you that in action as well, how it's going to be time saving for you. So once this uh, initial deployment is done, it would have taken a minute. Uh, I'm just going to copy this ARN of the Lambda and close this and go back to the development console and paste the ARN of my Lambda and save the endpoint. So now I'm going to go into the test mode from the Alexa developer console and I'm going to uh, let's change this test to development and I'm just going to say open Chinese animal welcome to the Chinese animal game too and if you look at this code you will see it says welcome to the Chinese animal game too okay that's a mistake I just don't want this game too so I'm going to change this code. Welcome to uh, my Chinese animal skill. I just do a quick deployment using this function, quick deploy, and it will take one, two, three seconds. I come back to the Alexa developer console and I say, open Chinese animal. Sorry. There was some okay. problem. So this Let's is because uh, sometimes the Alexa developer console needs to be reloaded. 
ओपन चाइनीज एनिमल वेलकम टू माय चाइनीज एनिमल स्किल एंड एस यू कैन सी द कोड चेंजेस बिकम अपरेंट ऑलमोस्ट इंस्टेंटली सो लेट मी गो हेड एंड व्हाट्स द चाइनीज एनिमल फॉर द ईयर 2012 my custom intent handler okay so it's just returning this text called my custom intent handler so uh, the chinese animal intent was invoked by the string i uttered and i'm just going to change this to uh, say your chinese animal is a cat and do a quick deployment again 3 seconds 1 2 3 go back to the developer console what is the chinese animal for the year 2012 your chinese animal is a cat so we have um, you know a very fast iterative development cycle i can just change the code and in 3 seconds i can see it in action with the actual alexa so let me turn on my actual alexa which i have at the side alexa open chinese animal Welcome to my Chinese animal skill. What is the Chinese animal for the year 2012? Your Chinese animal is a cat. Okay, so that's from the real Alexa device which is linked to my developer account and you can see the complete round trip uh, execution. So now I'm going to show you one of the best features of the Sigma IDE and that is how I can invoke the dozens of AWS services like API Gateway, DynamoDB, RDS, S3, and even Google Cloud Functions. Uh, if you wish to go uh, beyond the uh, limit of AWS, so right now I'm going to drag DynamoDB uh, into my Chinese Animal um, Intent Handler, and between the um, lines 28 to 29, I'm going to drop it. And what I'm going to do is uh, look up an existing table. So it's going to look up at my existing databases and if i go to my dynamo db console i have a table called chinese animal it has three fields three columns the birth year animal and personality traits so what i'm going to do here is without going into any of those uh, i'm just going to select the existing table chinese animal and i'm going to select the operation uh, get document and my variable is going to be this year variable which uh, i have actually extracted from the input the user has provided already i'm going to say inject and the code is automatically generated for me the dependency uh, uh, for the library is added and i have a functioning code invocation for the dynamo db uh, if i want to change it i can go back into this definition and change it as well but i'm just going to keep this simple and all i'm going to do is uh, oops i think i got this code a little bit before i need it so i'm just going to have the year before i use the year so year is going to be looked up from the input um, the slot which was specified like 2012 or something and i'm going to change my hard coded speech text now instead to um something like this which is going to be what i read from the dynamo db table so it's going to be your animal is a uh, and the data is the array which is returned from the dynamo db uh, get item call so the animal uh, name which is a string and uh, the animal traits from that lookup as well if you look at the dynamo db table definition i have animal um, attribute and personality traits attribute so those are the two uh, items which are being picked up from each item of this um, returning array return from dynamo db so let me just um, do a deployment now since i did a dynamo db um, code change i need to do a full deployment again so it's going to take 1 minute uh, or approximately a minute for such changes where i change the resources of my lambda function but after uh, i have done the dynamo db uh, association with this lambda function subsequent code changes are going to be the 
fast deployment style or quick deployment style code changes they're going to be like two or three seconds uh, only so let me um, wait until this deployment completes and thereafter when i search for my chinese animal between these years 2002 to 2000 and maybe 20 uh, i should get say for 2010 the tiger snake for 2013 etc so the deployment is complete and i'm going to go back into my alexa console open chinese animal sorry there was some problem okay. let's try again just refresh the amazon alexa developer console open chinese animal welcome to my chinese animal skill what is my chinese animal for the year 2012 Your animal is a dragon. Want to know something else? Apparently you are confident, enthusiastic, intelligent. Okay, now I'm going to show you a code change with the DynamoDB. Uh, your animal, instead of your animal, I'm going to say your Chinese ear animal. I'm going to do a quick deployment. One, two, three seconds. And I'm going to go into my real Alexa device. Alexa, open Chinese animal. Welcome to my Chinese animal skill. What is my Chinese animal for the year 2010? Your Chinese year animal is a tiger. Want to know something else? Apparently you are brave, confident, competitive. What is my Chinese animal for the year 2020? Your Chinese year animal is a rat. Want to know something else? Apparently you are quick-witted, resourceful, kind. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this uh, quick uh, video. I hope you like it and you can also do even more with uh, the Sigma IDE, uh, not just related to Alexa, any Lambda function or application. And also if you are using the Node.js language, you can directly debug functions from within this IDE. That is functions as they execute live on AWS, you can debug, step through them and debug your applications. And this is the only platform without any other tools where you can live debug Lambda functions. So visit slabforge.com and learn more about the Sigma IDE. And uh, let us know in case you have any questions. Thank you.